Hey everybody, it's Chicago Red, and I'm coming to you today to discuss one topic, just one topic, and we're going to get into that shortly, but welcome to my channel. Um, I'm not a comedian, I'm just a woman with an opinion, and what can be funnier than that? Nothing, nothing at all. Um, so as you see in the title, Kim, I'm sorry, Kanye West gives Kim Kardashian a real taste of Chicago. Honey, mm, mm, mm. I know Kim didn't even know we cooked food like this. <laughs> We're about to get into it, honey, because Kanye is giving Kim all of the Chicago he can give. And it goes beyond giving her a baby named Chicago. <laughs> Who y'all, this topic tickles me. It tickles me to no end. So, you know, let's start from the very beginning. And when I say the very beginning, I'm talking about Donda. Let's talk about Miss West. Um, Miss Donda, she was... She was born July 12th, 1949. She was an American professor and chair of Chicago State University's English department. I'm sorry, English. Uh, New Chicago State Department of English huh, Communications. Hello. Media and theater. And she, along with her ex-husband, Ray West, are who we have to thank. For Kanye, y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here, West. Yes, they are the reason we are here. So here are the facts. Kim and Kanye met in the early 2000s. They began dating in 2011. They had their first child, North, in June of 2013. They married in 2014, and after that started to, um, they, they included three more children into their family. Um, the news broke of their separation on January 5th of 2021. Now, I wasn't aware of that. I, for some reason, I thought they announced their divorce in the fall, like a few months ago. I didn't know that this happened a year ago. Completely, I, I was completely out of the loop. Or maybe I just don't care that much. I, I'm going to go with the latter. Um, so they broke, the, the, the news broke in January of 2020. Kim K officially files for divorce from Kanye West on February 19th of 2021, according to Brides.com. And on December 10th of 2021, ET Online reports that Kim K filed documents to be declared legally single and reclaiming her maiden name, Kardashian. Honey, the courts can do whatever they want to do to legally um, change her name back to Kim Kardashian, but we will forever know you as Kanye's first wife. <laughs> you ain't never gonna live that down, honey, ever in life. So just uh, get ready. Get ready. Stay ready. So, as far as their, um, Kim and Kanye, their relationship, let me just preface it by saying this. I never want to see anyone go through hard times in their relationships. I don't wish it on anybody because I don't want it wished upon me. I don't want to have to go through that. I've been through bad relationships and, um, yeah, they hurt. They're painful. They're they're horrible to deal with. They're horrible to deal with in private. I couldn't even imagine dealing with crazy on the level that they've had to deal with it um, publicly. And I say they because Kim is good at, at hiding her crazy, but I'm sure she is just as crazy as Kanye because Kanye's level of crazy, and when I'm saying crazy, I'm not talking mental. Because that, that's something totally different. But Kanye is just crazy. Um, Kanye's level of crazy does not attract calm. K 
Kanye's level of, tra of crazy attracts crazy. So Kim has a level of crazy that we haven't necessarily seen. Or maybe we have because she did mollywop Courtney on that one episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I mean, <laughs> Kim said, uh, what you're not going to do is collect a check up in here. And you don't want to expose your life the way I expose my life. That's not happening, big sister. And she popped her. <laughs> whoop -a! Yeah. I was like, Kim got balls. <laughs> okay. Okay, Kim. Um, but yeah, she couldn't keep that big booty up long enough to stay on her feet <laughs> and complete the mission. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I, I, I feel bad for them having to go through this. I also feel bad for their four children, um, North Chicago, Saint and Song. It's, it's horrible. It's horrible. Um. My parents remained married until my father passed away. So I never had to go through parents going through divorce. Um, so I can I would imagine that that's rough on them too. But we're going to talk about it though. Yes, we are. Um, Kanye recently went on a rant about not being invited to Chicago's fourth birthday party this past weekend. Um, so much so that he had to resort to contacting the nannies. He had to call Tristan. Chloe's, Chloe's work. Yeah. He had to call Tristan. Tristan then had to ask Chloe if it was okay for him to give up the information to the party. Because Kanye didn't know where the party was at. He was like Nelly. He didn't know where the party was at. So, um, <laughs> Kanye decides to go on, to go on video and tell everybody that, um, what Kim is not going to do is keep him from his baby girl's party. That's what's not going to happen. He said he's getting ready to, to change the narrative. She will not be in charge of the narrative that dictates how the world perceives Kanye West as a father. He said, no. No, 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 no. I, I'm I'm going to go in every Chuck E. Cheese. I'm going to go into every Dave and Buster's. And I'm going to go through everybody's house that has balloons out front to find my child to see where this party is going down. Because I, Kanye West, <laughs> can do that. <laughs> Y'all, Kanye cracks me up. I... Every time I see his name, I just start laughing because I know it's about to be good. <laughs> Since Eddie Murphy is no longer doing stand up, I got to I got to find it where I can get it. Kanye is my comedy relief. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Y'all heard he's about to do a concert for Putin. He going to Russia to do a concert for Putin. Y'all know that's going to be a mess, right? And he gonna beg Kim to come on back home <laughs> while he's on stage. And the Russian people are gonna be looking at him like, what is he saying? What is he talking about? <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, y'all. Me having been born and raised in the west suburbs of Chicago, and, and not even that far west. Like, I, I where I was born is considered the near west because I'm literally... Seven minutes from the west side of Chicago, fifteen minutes from the from downtown Chicago. So, I consider myself a Chicago girl, even though people from Chicago would have a problem with me claiming Chicago because I'm technically from the suburbs. But I don't care, cause that's the that's the Chicago in me. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they think. <laughs> but having dealt with men from the, the south side of Chicago, which is where Kanye is from. I know Kanye is kind. I do. Now I don't tech I don't necessarily deal with that level of crazy, but I I I, I know it. I'm I'm familiar with it. I've chatted with it. I may have even kissed and hugged it. 
Um, so Kanye's behavior is no surprise to me. I just feel bad for Kim because I don't think she was ready. Nobody prepped her. She hasn't, she's, she's been privy to this life of privilege most of her life with her father being a lawyer. Um, she was running around with the Hiltons and, um, the Norwoods, Brandy and Ray J. She, yeah, she, she was that kid. So she really didn't understand what she was getting into when she invited Kanye into her sanctuary. She didn't know. And nobody told her. Um, so now we're here. Now we're here. And she's getting all of it. <laughs> Kanye is taking Kim on a tour of the south side of Chicago. They're going through Bronzeville. They're hitting up Pilsen. They're going through Inglewood into Chatham. They're going into, uh, uh, what's the other one? Pullman Village. They're going to slide through Beverly. They're going to go into uh, uh, Peel Hill. Uh, what's the other part? What's the Roseland? They're going into Roseland. They, they going everywhere. Kim didn't even know she was going on this ride in Chicago. Kanye taking her. He's taking her. It's the Leon's barbecue of it all for me. <laughs> it's the home of the hoagies of it all. For me, it's the Garrett's popcorn of it all for me. It's like, I want to feel sorry for you, Kim, but I cannot. I tried to can, but I cannot. I cannot feel sorry for you because what you're getting, you bought on yourself. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You should have stuck with Chris Humphreys. You divorce, you embarrass Chris Humphreys on your tired Kim Kardashian, uh, I'm, I'm saying Kim Kardashian show, keeping up with the Kardashian show. You embarrass that man. And um, we haven't seen Chris since. We have, uh, did he quit the NBA? Like, where's Chris Humphreys these days? Um, but yeah, you left him and started dating Kanye and thought you thought you had one. And you did. You had one. I mean, Kanye was okay, you know. Um, he really didn't start slipping in the darkness until after his mother passed away. God rest her soul. But um, Miss West was keeping Con Kanye under wraps. She was she kept him tight. She kept tight reins on him. And after her passing, we haven't seen Con we haven't seen the um the um we haven't seen Kanye pre Donda West passing. All yeah, we haven't seen him since she passed. Um, so um, I don't know, y'all. I don't know how Kim is going to come out of this unscathed. She's gonna have some bumps and some bruises because dealing with them South Side men, uh, South Side of Chicago men, baby. They gonna take you through it, girl. In the words of Whoopi Goldberg, in her role as the what do you call them people? Psychic on Ghost, Molly girl, you in danger. <laughs> you haven't seen the best of Kanye, girl. Kim, Kanye about to act a whole fool on you. Yes, he is. He about to start calling your phone from different numbers that you don't know. He's going to have his cousins call you. He may even have his cousins come up to your house. Um, him buying that house across the street from you. That's classic. Yeah. Because if you all lived in an apartment building, he would just get the apartment across from you or down the hallway from you. That That's some Chicago stuff. Yeah. That's... That's very Chicago of him. Um, what else has Kanye done that is very indicative of a Chicago dude? Um, putting putting you in the lyric. I mean, 
a lot of artists put what they're going through in the lyrics. But to be so explicit and so direct about it and and calling Pete Davidson's name in the lyrics um, and basically telling Pete Davidson, I'm going to kick your because you took my you took my woman. And I, I'm not feeling that because I, I'm Kanye. You're Pete Davidson. <laughs> you should never level up to me. You should never. You could never. But you did. How did we get here? Kanye doesn't know how they got there. Kanye, we know how y'all got there. We know. We know. So y'all look, um, we're just going to stay in prayer. We need to have a, a day of prayer for Kanye and Kim. I'm thinking that would probably be the best at this point. Because, <laughs> as I said before, we have not seen the best of Kanye's antics, y'all. It's it's coming. It's coming. Who is coming? <laughs> and I can't stop smiling about it. Because <laughs> I know he is not going to disappoint. Kanye is going to bring it. <laughs> Hoo wee. I just hope I have something tasty to eat when I when all of this unfolds. I, I just I don't know. Maybe I will get some Garrett's popcorn and just keep it on keep it on standby. Now get me an Italian beef a combo, Italian sausage and Italian beef with some mozzarella cheese and some hot peppers. Mmm. Good eating. Have it dipped. Y'all gotta if you if you're not familiar with Chicago. You need to come to Chicago. Come in the summertime because that's when all of the stuff is going on. You have the, the festivals. Well, right now we're in the middle of a situation where it prevents a lot of things from going on. A lot of gatherings. Because our, ga our festival gatherings are huge. They are massive. Like the Taste of Chicago brings millions of people into the Chicago area for the period or the duration of that festival. It's changed over the years. I haven't been to the Taste of Chicago in probably, I, my son is 32. It's probably been 30 years. Or maybe not 30. It's been a while though. I haven't been to the Taste of Chicago in a while. Because I mean, once you've gone a few times and you're a native, it loses its luster. But for people that aren't aware of it, I mean, you would love it. It's just a lot of food. A lot of Chicago. Deep dish pizzas. Like I said, Italian beefs. Um... Those big fat turkey legs, of which I've never had. I don't even know who, I don't I don't know which restaurant that was that did that. But yeah, all Mexican food, anything you think you might want to taste is at the Taste of Chicago. And this year, Kanye West is on the menu. <laughs> and Kim is eating it up. Kanye is serving, y'all. He is serving. Well, that's it, y'all. I'm just ranting. But I just want to talk about um, the West. West is, Westuses. <laughs> the West Kardashian um, divorce, separation, what have you. And how Kanye is just wilding out. Maybe, maybe uh, Nick Cannon needs to have Kanye on there. And just... Let everybody else to have a vacation day and let Kanye just wild out on his own. Like Kanye could do a whole hour. Is it a 30? I think it's 30 minutes. I think the show's a 30 minutes. Kanye could do a whole 30 minutes by himself. Nick doesn't even have to show up. Nick can do an intro through, uh, via video and boom. Let Kanye go. Let, let Kanye be Kanye. Wilding out. But y'all, uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and the space to uh, share some of my opinions with you about some things that are going on. That particular topic just it resonated with me. I was, I've been cracking up since I heard it. Because I heard he was on the 405 having a rant. <sighs> oh, Kanye. Bless your heart. But um, you all have a beautiful day. Um, Try to find something positive to do. Read a book. 
drink some water, hydrate, hydrate your, hydrate your muscles. Because I'm sure you haven't had any water today. And if you've had some water, you didn't have enough water. So drink some water. And um, I will catch you in the next video, y'all. Peace out.